for Steve Waugh as the new batsman and uh, he scored 246 for three in the commentary box now Ian Chappell and Sanjay Mandraker thanks Tony Abishan having success there finally getting rid of uh, Matthew Hayden that's uh, a change in tactics there from Steve Waugh he's hit the six straight down the ground previous delivery he was moving to the offside looking to whip the ball away on the onside on that occasion he went slightly to leg and an incredible shot more chances of missing this one than hitting it it's made a hole another hole in the hoardings from memory I count about four holes this is the fourth we've seen but what a shot that was just squatted that one straight down the pitch Long, long chase there for long off. Agurka does well. Brilliant. Ajit Agurka on the boundary there. Saving a couple of runs for his side. He's bowled eight overs in these hot conditions. But the commitment was there more than 100% got down on that ball made sure he kept it inside well he's going to have to repeat the dose here this time without the dive that's very well done that's gone straight over the keeper's head well he's not fussy which direction they go in Steve War six straight down the ground four straight back behind him now the bowler has a problem with the length that six that Steve Waugh hit uh, in the last over straight down the pitch has got Srinath to just uh, make a few adjustments. It's got the bowler to think. That was pretty short. All the, li the line was again good. War again playing that uh, cross batted swat. This time straight down the pitch but at the other end. Australia are going to comfortably beat their uh previous best score again once again over the keeper's head and away for four in a few shots uh, Steve Waugh has hit down the pitch on both directions there was that six uh, that was hit in front of the wicket and a couple of boundaries behind the wicket slow ball again making room not easy to get the middle of the bat with that kind of a short attempt this time getting the edge very fine to third man no chance for Zahir Khan well, that one's hit off the middle and that'll bring up the 50 partnership between Steve Waugh and Michael Bevan the wicket are over the wicket you don't have to move the sideboard that's how it should be at every ground Slower one again, and he's picked the gap. 300 up for Australia. Well, ever since that six was hit off Srinath by Steve was straight down the pitch, it's got the bowler to think. And an uncertain Srinath, not knowing which length the ball at Steve was trying to get in some variations. It's a slower ball this time. The one that goes the other way, the leg cutting slower ball which was picked up early by war chance at long on Srinath and he's taken it so Zahir Khan has made the breakthrough a much needed one for India I always believe if you're bowling the slow ball and the length is full there's a good chance of you picking up a wicket a shot of length slow ball normally keeps the batsman quiet you may not be able to hit the big shot but if you want a wicket the length's got to be full as it was in this case quite full for Steve Waugh trying to heave it on the leg side got the leading edge and once he gets under the ball Srinath is a safe catcher 35 for Steve Waugh and the score 304 for 4 side out which of course may still happen the other one is to make the 
run rate so far away from the batting side. And that's out. So they get another wicket. And another Indian batsman goes, hitting the ball in the air. And Steve Wall gets his first wicket since Nairobi. Last ball of the over. And that could have been the reason for him, uh, for that ball that we saw quite surprised. Steve Wall came himself on to bowl. Playing on the up. Slightly bent knee, weighed backwards. And in the end, a nice little scoop to Shane Warne and short extra cover. He's taken a few catches in this inning. Shane Warne, Eamon Badani gone for 25. India now tottering at 135 for five. So wicket to Steve War gets another wicket. And a Robin Singer who kept the strike with the single off the last ball of Warne's over. Just edged it nice and simply to Adam Gilchrist. So the sixth wicket has fallen. And Australia well on top here. It's not the first time I've seen Steve Waugh pick, pick a wicket like this. Caught behind. The ball is pretty old. He has this ability to get the ball to seam a bit. And uh, Robin Singh trying to play the cut. Just getting a slight nick. He's gone for 16 and 144 for 6 now. Ah! He's given him here. There have been a couple of appeals that have been turned down. But the umpire's finger on that last occasion was up in the air in a flash. Even as Steve Waugh was appealing, the finger had gone up. And let's take another look at this. Definitely missing leg stump. But that's not what the scorebook will say. 